Hi, welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound Channel and part 25 in the series all about my Project 12 DIY modular analog synth. In this video we'll be looking at an LFO, a low frequency oscillator, which has a facility to alter the wave shape on the output. Now the original circuit is by Castletronics and there's a brilliant article on how the circuit is designed and how it's put together and how it works on the Castletronics uh, blog spot. I've put a, a link below to that so do go and check that out. It goes into some great detail so you understand how the circuit does what it does. So I'm not going to go over that here. Also on his circuit diagram it says it's for personal use only, so I'm not going to repeat that here either. So again, if you want to see the full circuit diagram, go check out the blog spot. In brief, the core of the circuit, the oscillator core, is a standard op-amp oscillator producing a square wave and a triangle wave output. There's then uh, another circuit which uses a couple of op-amps to do the wave shaping. Also included in his original design is um, a wave shape transformer circuit that converts the, I think it's the triangle wave, into a sine wave. I've not included that in my design. I, I didn't really feel the need for the sine wave output. There's another change that I made as well. On the original circuit, there's an indicator diode and that on the original it uses a, a single bicolor diode. Now on mine, I've used two standard red LEDs, mostly because I didn't have a bicolor diode that would do the job. But other than that, um, yeah, I've kind of borrowed that circuit design. So having borrowed that circuit design, I put together my own strip board layout. And that strip board layout looks like this. If you want to see this, uh, if you want to use this strip board layout, then you'll find it in the Cuzzy Sound Dropbox. And again, a link to that is down in the description. Well, I built the circuit and the circuit board and the various bits look like this. So not a massive circuit and not a great deal going on so it's relatively straightforward to build. Now the front of the panel looks like this. Very simple controls. You have a frequency control. It goes from a fairly low frequency um, up to yeah a standard LFO kind of output. Um, underneath that you've got the shape control and we'll see how that works later when I do a couple of short demos. There you will see the two red LEDs that I use for the indication of, of uh, each half of the waveform and then there's an output for a triangle wave and a square wave. So there's no CV control for this circuit so once you power the circuit up, I'm talking of powering up, this circuit does require a dual rail power supply, so the plus and minus 12 volt that I've got in my system. Um, so yeah, it won't run off a single rail. Um, so but once once you do power it up, then the oscillator just starts oscillating, so you will always have an output and you will have to manually alter the frequency of the oscillator and manually alter the wave shape. But having said that, it's still very useful and real fun to play around with in a modular system. So, let's have a quick listen to some of the things that it can do. In the first example that I've done, I'm taking the square wave output and using that to drive a Vactrol VCA. Now, on the input of the VCA, I've got a, a triangle wave oscillator, VCO, um, it's just producing a single tone and then that the output from that goes through the mixer. Um, I've also connected the oscilloscope up to the output so we can actually see what's happening to the waveform on the scope. So let's 
go over to the synth and have a look and listen. So that was the square wave output. What about the triangle wave output? Well this time round I'm taking the triangle wave out from the LFO and using that as the CV input to a VCF, a voltage control filter. So the output from the LFO is changing the cutoff of the filter. I'm taking the saw wave VCO output again and putting that into the input in the filter and then out of the filter going straight into the mixer so you can hear the effect that it's having. And once again the output's also shared to the oscilloscope so we can see the shape of the waveform. So yeah, let's go back to the synth and have a look and listen to that. Well, there were two very simple, straightforward demonstrations, mainly just to kind of show what the waveform does. Um, you can have a lot more fun playing around with a lot more different permutations and combinations of how you use the LFO output and how you alter the, the wave shapes. I found it very useful in, in some of the recent compositions that I've been putting together. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a great little module. And thank you to Gasatronics for sharing it. So do go and check out that blog page. And if you want to use my stripboard layout, then go and check out the Dropbox link. And with those two, you'll have got all you need to uh, build a, a wave-shapeable LFO. Um, so, yeah, why not? Go on. Have a go. Build your own.